My garbage person of the week is, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. So one thing you might have noticed I don't generally do is, it's never someone who we've already talked about. It's always a new thing, cuz you know, we like to talk about new things. Nope, the garbage was too bad. I apologize for making you watch this again. We're gonna play a bit of it just in case you haven't, but here is my garbage person. Yeah, so that's enough of that. Um, yes, yeah, so Paul Gosar uh, and the entire Republican Party, I'm gonna throw them in there too. Uh, yeah, him fantasizing about murdering AOC. As my friend pointed out, of course, in uh, the world of Attack on Titan, the Titans are naked. I'm sure that had nothing to do with it, them wanting to put AOC's face on a gigantic naked body and then murder it. Um, and, and him putting in Lauren Bober and Marjorie Green, so they also are the ones that are murdering AOC. We don't do this for garbage people. We don't bring back a person that we've already talked about, but it merits it. Because not just for what he did, but why he knew he could do it. And AOC previewed this earlier. She said he'll face no consequences because GOP leader cheers him on with excuses. Fun Monday, well, back to work because institutions don't protect women of color. We've had a week now, nothing happened, nothing. He gave a BS, non-apology apology that that made the same claims. We're being invaded, immigrants are a plague, they're flooding across the border. Um, they have not had to apologize, He nothing will be learned. He hasn't suffered any consequences, and so the next video, is going to be worse. It's going to be more violent. They're going to it's going to be Ilhan Omar or Cory Bush or Rashida Tlaib and they're going to be fantasizing about drowning them or throttling them with a piano wire or something because we do not have systems anymore that stop this, that disincentivize calls to political violence. And so sorry, I just I had to pick him up as my guard person again. Yeah, if if you want catharsis, go ahead and watch the video from his entire family, all his brothers and sisters, like a thousand of them saying like, I mean, not just on CNN when his one sister says uh, Paul Gosar is a sociopath, but that same sister that you're seeing right there uh, in this ad, you can watch everybody say, I'm ga Tim Gosar, Gaston Gosar, Takani Gosar, please vote for the other guy. 100%. So yeah. good. It's terrible, terrible. I'm worried about where this is going. So those are our garbage people, but uh, what did you all say? Well, 38,000 of you voted, breaking our recent records. We've had 41 or 42 in the past, but thank you to the 38,000 of you who voted. And your number five garbage person of the week with 3% is Josh Hawley for his bizarre, bizarre obsession with masculinity. Just wanna point out, Josh, you will never be better than number five. Just putting that out there. Uh, and number four with 8% of the vote is Ted Cruz for picking a fight with Big Bird. That was a funny one. Uh, number three with 11% of the vote, you have Aaron Rodgers for lying about his vaccination status. Really, that just merited number three, okay. Number two at 13% is Janine Pirro for her wild defense of Kyle Rittenhouse, it was terrible. And your community garbage person of the day, for the first time almost ever crossing over with one of us, 66% of you voted for Paul Gosar for sharing a violent anime video threatening AOC and Joe Biden, by the way, as well. So thank you to all of you who voted, really do appreciate you being involved. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.